Ooh, this guy's a tough... Oh, it's a double boss, too. Oh, boy. I don't like this boss, and then we doubled him. Uh, it's actually because I got... I just have so much DPS, I just over... Just totally uh, ran him over. And what did we get for the uh, craft? Blast duration. Name not that good. Okay, what did we get here? We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Any... Oh, any rings. No rings. Um, there is a way you can get... Um, the, they're identified, but you could just craft a bunch of rare rings and then turn in the, the recipe um, at, in that way. And instead of getting two chaos, you get one if anything's identified in it. But it's it's a way to do it, so it's not horrible. But, but you know, it's valuable in that sense. You can get something out of it. We're going right here and then right, right there next. Beautiful. Oh, Mariketh bow as well. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Path of Exile Necropolis League. This is episode 9 of the Solo Cell Found Cyclone of Tumult uh, Raider. So I'm a raider and I'm using Cyclone of Tumult in Solo Cell Found. And we're going to be going over um, how to use Kyrick efficiently to unlock, you know, sometimes you'll find you're like, I haven't found this map and I really want to find them and I, I, it, it's just difficult. And we're going to go over that and how to use Kyrick. And let's go over our build real quick as well. This is a cycle of tumult, uh, meaning I went and transfigured the cyclone gem in the um, in the lab, and it was the fourth lab. So I ran the labyrinth and I got my um, fourth ascendancy, and then it gave me that option to turn the cyclone into a, a variant of itself, and I got the cyclone of tumult that way. And it's just it, it's just night and day better than cyclone. It's really, really a step up. I mean, I can do the, the size of this thing is massive compared to the other one. And it's faster, more damage. Everything's really, really good about it. Um, I don't know if you guys want a video just separately on um, how to make these flasks where they are when they're when they when they fill up on charges, they automatically use themselves. So I have the diamond one give me 147 increased crit strike. I've got this one that gets attack speed, and I can make, I'll, I'll end up making better versions of these as I get higher tiered um, bases to work with, but I can make a video on that as well. And then I've got this one for the increased damage and a little bit of life leech as well. And reduced charges per use, that's okay. There, there could be some better ones, and I might make another one. In fact, how close am I to being able to make one? I'd like to make, oh no, I need two more. You need five of these. And about nine of these. You can buy these from a vendor for um, blacksmith whetstones. So you can get these, but this is the thing that holds you back. I need five of those. All right, and let's go over the build. I've also got these maps set up and ready to go. If you hold Alt, it'll say, oh, it's not complete yet. So I've got all these to do to get Atlas points. And we'll go over Kyrick in a bit. And let's see. And I do a Maven fight. And let's take a look at the... The build that I've got. I put a tattoo on here and I changed that to 5% chance to blind enemies on hit. I just didn't need the dexterity for anything so I took that. I did the fourth lab. I got a gift of the goddess and went into the labyrinth and unlocked the, the fourth one. Made it to the end. Did the fight. It wasn't bad at all. So now I've got 230% onslaught by doing all these. Permanent onslaught, movement speed and um, so it's 46% attack speed and 46% movement speed permanently up all the time. Then I went here and got some more frenzy, frenzy add plus one to the frenzy charges for the maximum. And I just get lots of frenzy hits, nice stuff. And then here I get um, frenzy, uh, the speed. So it's 20%, I got five frenzy charges. So you're looking at 20% movement speed, attack speed and increased damage, 50% right there on that one. And then I also took this down here. That gives me more and it uh, raises the minimum. So I always have one up up and running. Um, increase attack speed in that. What doesn't help is this one per, you know, evasion rating because I take this so I can't be stunned. I'm also working my way over here. Um, this will raise our, min our, our maximum um, elemental resist by two. I thought that was three before. Did they nerf that? And then I'm going to get this one for the Corrupted Blood. That way I can not care about um, Corrupted Blood on my um, 
that. So I could I could do it. this one. I'll, I'll I'll stick with this, and then I don't have to worry about bleeds at all. Um, and the build itself is pretty straightforward. Um, come right around here. I grab this for some. Um, you have a choice. If you want more accuracy, you can come over here and grab accuracy this way with um, crit, or if you if you need some resistances, which I probably don't. Let's see. I could probably back out of this. Let's see how much is it. Um, I could back out of this. Let's see. 10, 18. Um, I'd be at 74, 75, 76. I could probably back out of this. It's really close. And then that would give me more damage. I'd get the accuracy back here. Let's do that. Let's get it. Let's do it right now. Refund. One, two, three. Three. Ooh, that I could even get, the, get this fourth one out of here too. Four, and I've got plenty of uh, regrets. I got 18 from one map. So now we're a little bit low here, but that's okay. We're going to get that back anyways. We can get it back right here um, if we wanted to. And so now we have four points to spend. Now we have the plus two to the max. Apply it. Yeah, we'll probably uh, I'll probably spend it because my now my maximum is seventy seven, and now we're a little low here, and here, and then this one right here. Um, so we'll get the corrupted blood. Nice, apply, and then I can just get it back like this, or we could go this way. Let's see. I think that's a four. This would be work. This would be nice, and we get some armor. I like that. And then we're a little bit. There's plus twelve right there with some more armor. That's not bad. We'll do that. So we're better off by far than we were a second ago. And the accuracy is still good. Let's see. 98%. Let's see. What did I miss? Oh, really? Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit of accuracy. We're doing well on accuracy, so the next one I'll probably take is right here, which is fine. And then we'll get some crit and crit and accuracy like that. And this one's optional, but that'll be my next... So I'll get damage and um, accuracy, which I'll need as I level up anyways. Pretty cool. Over here is where we get the um, a little bit of rain. Uh, no, this one I didn't take. Let's see, Val. Is there anything here that we could take? Um, damaging ailments, change stance. Monsters cannot block your attacks. No, that, that, maybe that's okay. 5% attack speed per enemy close to you. That's not terrible. Sometimes there's big packs. In close range, does it say how much close range is? Two meters. That's not bad. I might take that. Um, that doesn't help with bosses, and bosses are what I really kind of need, but oh well. Um, it would be nice for delves, too. That might be something, a viable thing. I don't know. Um, we're going up here. A little bit of mana regen this way. Damage. Here's the bleeds. Here's the um, impales. Here's the AoEs. Here's just raw damage and some overwhelms. Here's crits. Here's crits and sword damage. Here's some AoE and damage. Here's um, a bunch of more damage. And that's about it. It's a very simple build. Pretty cool stuff. These are good. That's nice for dexterity and int. And life wheel up here. All right. So let's get into it. Oh, I did have one more point to spend. I didn't notice that. And we'll take this right here. And that should set us over the 98%. Let's see. Offense. 99%. And then the next one. And then I'll take here next. And that's a lot of damage too. Cool. Just a little side note. Let's go in and do the Maven's Crucible. We get that little thing. Let's see if let's see what the fight turns out to be. It'll be interesting. Maybe I'll fail. No idea. I mean, I shouldn't fail this fight. This is the first one. Let's see. This is Soul Cell Pound. A little, you know. And I'm on a four link still, so let's find out. Oh boy. Easy. Didn't like that. Looks like a three boss fight. Drop down the totem. And. Pretty smooth. Nothing too complicated about this. Nice. Anything good? Not. Um, 
We don't need those. Don't need that. This is for the uh, recipe, for the chaos recipe that I'm I'm just trying to get some. I mean, it's just right here, so I might as well pick them up and that and get it, pick up the bigger things because that way I can just take it right back. Nice. And interact. Cool. And this is how I'm doing the uh, Kirik stuff. Um, a couple different ways, but we just ran a mission, so I have to, uh, to look at it. But let's take a look on the Atlas. Um, I got... I picked up these. Um, this one, 2%, 2%, 2%, and this one. So a 14% chance to get a Kirik mission, which is right here. And every time you open one and start it up, he resets down here. So there's a couple things you have to check. Uh, what is this? A map? A tier 15 map for one chance or one eighth of a map, huh? I guess so. We'll take it. And then I hold down Alt and I go over these and see if it, if it says complete, then I don't buy it. There's one for an alchemy. I'll buy it. We'll put it, uh, and then we put it back away. Now here's the thing. When you run a Kirik mission, I do this. I click here and I say, okay, Kirik mission. Um, I hold down the Alt key and I look over all the things so i say okay um and i this is the tier i only have tier uh white maps that he's given right now he'll start giving these as well okay so we have one incomplete there 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 so here here and here um and then there's a reward at the bottom so i don't want that one i don't want that map items harvest that's fine so it's a choice between this one this one and this one, we have Harvest, Rogue Exiles, which are okay, and a rare map item. I want this one. And now we're going to look at it and say, is it doable? Is there any re uh, Reflect? No, there's no re Reflect. So I, I could do this. So that's how I choose it. So I know I'm going to get, I hold down Alt and it says Incomplete. So I'll get a map completion for this one. And I like the reward here of, of a rare map item, which I probably need as well. So let's do it. Fire it up. And we'll dive in and get this completed. And the mission itself is, <clears throat> it says find a rare map item. They make it really easy to find it. I'm not going to activate the delirium either. I don't need that going. I'll do those later, but I, I really don't need it right now. I can, I'll have a whole different atlas for deliriums probably. Or it's just like 100% chance to get deliriums. Let's find it out. Oh, we'll do this though. And come on. Knock this down. Ooh, Cobalt Jewel might be a good one. It's like a free roll of a jewel. Come on. I just want to safely pick this stuff up. There we go. So where's the rare item? The rare map item, where's that going to be? It's usually like right by the start of the portal around there. The mission complete would be around there. That Val Regali, Regalia, I need that for the, um, the chaos recipe. And if you don't know what the chaos recipe is, you can look it up. But it's basically you sell a two-handed weapon, a two, a six, uh, a chest piece, and then one ring, two rings, a belt, a jewelry, gloves, helm, and feet, like one of each thing, and you'll get two chaos if it's unidentified, and it has to be between like level 68, item level 68, and 78 or something like that, and. Uh, you get a lot of them, so I've probably did that recipe 30 or 40 times now. Just to get a lot of chaos. I have a lot of chaos because of that. And that allows me to re-roll stuff that I want to re-roll and buy things that I want. I even in, you know, in solo cell found chaos are important. Is it over here? Nope. I'll find it. Pretty easy stuff, just running around. That's not a bleed, that's life tap from my weapon. And my weapon, which is kind of neat. Um, that's why I can run my uh, easy. Oh, mission complete. That's it. And fast. That's the rare map. Yeah. I don't think that that should have been like a unique map, I would hope. But I guess just a rare map. I've completed that one. That's a little bit weird. I thought it would give me like a unique map. Oh, we could sell that for some jeweler's orbs. Pretty cool. Oh, and the setup I use is right here. It's on this, so it has level one life tap. So this is automated. It uses the life instead of mana. 
So I don't use very much uh, mana at all for my three mana is what it costs. So it, you can see I, I doesn't use any. My regen is faster than that. So it fires that off. It fires this automatically, automatically, and automatically. Pretty cool. And that, that, and that, I'm sorry, that withering step, and that gives me a lot of boosted speed. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, let's do this real quick. Let's just jump, jump in here. And notice in the Kyrick missions, you don't have any um of the, the what do you call it? The league mechanics. So it's just uh, an old school map. <laughs> Oh boy, is this the, here's the boss, I was like, what is it? There we go, and, I mean, we're, when we ramp up, let's see, what is it, it's more than that, 52, it's more than that, I, I thought it was more than that, I was doing 111,000 DPS just on the character sheet, so it's pretty cool, uh, I think I did at all, I like this map, this map, I like that one. We might run it just for fun. Any reflect? Nope. I'll just run that map next time for fun. And then we'll take a bow. I guess the boots. I need some more um, helms. And oh, let's look in the row nest. Nothing. And we can bail out of here. And this is how I've been doing the... Oh, we'll sell this off. We'll ID this. Maybe it's good. Intelligence? No. Except I could re-roll that gem and try to find stuff. Put that away. These all away. And this is where I have this tab for the weapons and uh, the we the weapon and the body armor. And then this tab is how I sort um, my boots, my uh, gloves, and then helms. And then I have rings and amulets and belts. And that's how I do it. And then I get a bunch of, I mean, we're, I've got 90 chaos in solo cell found. Not, not bad. Pretty cool. All right, let's do this map just for fun, I guess. And what can we put on that? We could put um, rogue exiles. Uh, oh, that's actually a, a good thing to have once I can guarantee rogue exiles. So I won't put that in there. Could we put this on here? Yeah, let's do this and some strong boxes just for fun. Why not? And, oh, and I guess I could turn, the, oh, I can't turn this back on. It needs to be um, a higher tier. What tier does it need to be at? Six or eight probably now. Okay. And, oh, I got to buy from Kira because I, once you, that's the thing. Once you activate him, come right over here because this is all reset. So we've got there a, 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 a tier two that's not done yet. Um, so I'm going to buy that. So that's why I need chaos or chance orbs too. Oh, a tier three, not done yet. A tier five, not done yet. So as you can see, this is how you can get your map completion done in solo cell phone by doing a combination of, you know, just d setting up Kyrick, running them, checking down here and checking his list. Pretty cool stuff. I think, um, are these set up correctly? That's unidentified. Uh, no fizz reflect. Good. Okay. And then this one. So those three maps are going to be set up and I'll be running those next. And more life. That's fine. Cool. And let's do this. We're good. Activate. And then we go like this. And this one. Okay. Um, what is this? Additional orbs of alteration. 4% chance. Let's put that up there. And then this one. Oh no. I want that on here. Hack mod. Yeah, so let's put... Let's put this one right here. And this one. There's 9 to 21 of them. So we get more tattoos. Okay. Oop, I should have did this. Darn it. I activated it without that. 20% additional shrine. Six, so it'll be 60%. And we get this. 30% um, increase of the buff from the shrines. And they grant an additional shrine effect. This is really powerful. It helps, you know, w when maps get more and more difficult, this really helps along with the Nico buff, which is right here. 
that buff is 30, 105% increased damage and uh, 45% move speed and the defense there. And then this one, I think I'm going to take that as well. Guarded by at least one magic pack. 50% jerk. Guarded by additional pack of monsters. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's dive in. And it was tattoos. So let's find out. I didn't, I didn't look which... Uh, Ooh, I'll take that. Explicit. I like this map, too. At all is one of my more favored maps. It's just kind of linear. It's not too... It's a bit linear. Easy. I don't know if it explodes. Yep. <laughs> I always think that it does, but now that I have Cyclone of Tumult, things are a lot nicer. Um, as far as the AoE, just it's just nice. Nice, nice, nice. What am I doing? Why is it... Why did it do that? Is it lagging and it just pulls me back in? I would hate for it to pull me back into this and <laughs> explode. Um, oh, I can't upgrade it. I don't want to go back to town to upgrade it. I should have brought... That's the thing. If I do... If there's... Um, what do you call it? Um, strong boxes. It's probably a good idea to bring some alchemies or to bring some uh, uh, transmutes and some alterations to roll the chests. So I'm still on a four link. I could at least get a five link that way. I should probably do that. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. Um, Reroll some regular chests um, with alteration shards until I get, you know, uh, is auto, auto, is auto fully linked and maybe, um, whoa. Yeah, it's just weird. It's like chunky feel. Doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't seem right. Oh, well. And I haven't seen any tattoos. Where's the tattoos? I hope they're not getting hidden. Look at that. Ugh. Doesn't feel smooth. Don't know why. Why? Look at that. It just doesn't start. Maybe it's just lagging out on the server or something. I don't know. Oh, we'll take that. And this. And I think that goes around this way as well. Because you could, um, what you could do is you can ID this thing, that chest right there, and then I could re-roll it. In fact, let's do that. It's worth, oh, there's an alteration. So we're going to ID it. Contains three freezes when activated. Okay. Oh, we got four of these. Let's find out what can re-roll that. No. Additional socket. That's not going to be it. Additional beyond scare. Contains... I'll just take that. I mean, it could be a lot of alteration shards to get the one that's, tri you know, that I don't know how weighted it is to get the, um, the, uh, all linked, you know, all uh, items dropped are linked type thing. Ooh, let's do this. Lesser. Lesser eater. Let's see. Or less. What is it? Yeah. Lesser eater of worlds. So on here. Life regen. 7% life regen? I don't think that's very... I don't have very much life regen. So let's take this off and re-roll it. Increase stun threshold. Meh, it's not bad. I think, is that for them or is that our stun threshold? Because we're unstunnable. Eh, I don't know. I wish it was more clear. And the ring... That's just a leveling ring, I guess. And what is this? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Is this an... Oh, that's not... That's a tier 9. Interesting. Okay. Plus 50 to modifier tier rating. That's a good one. And I'll take that. And this. And cast Firestorm. Oh, nice. Ooh, instilling orb. We need one more because we're going to have four automated, you know, one more of these. I want to automate all of these. We'll see if it happens. I might even automate two, uh, two, fla two speed flasks, even though they... Why is it stopping like that? Because I hope to get them, like, to the point where they're offset a little bit. So, yeah, there will be some overlap and it won't be effective. It's kind of cancels each other out, but... Um, if I can get some interesting uh, offset on it, it would be a little bit speedier. I doubt it. I'll probably put like an armor one on there or something. 
Holy cow, whatever that was. What is this guy? Leeching life. Burning ground. Something, something. Not very nice. He's not a boss. He's just mean. Let's find out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is really low. It's not, it's not eating our mana, though. That's not why we're, like, glitching out and stopping. Don't know. Put that in there. And let's just dump these. Nice. Oh, I am this one, too. So what was the issue there? I, I knew he was chunky, but I just didn't know what was going on there. Oh, easy. Another instilling orb. Is that him? Yeah, I think... No, that's not him. Oh, look how much he hit me for. Yeah, I just don't have the... Uh... He's just like a boss, like a mini boss. What is going on here? Ooh. Oh, he's fighting my totem. <laughs> oh, he's the Karui. He's a Karui boss. That's why. He has a... Uh... <laughs> I gotta remember that. Those guys are tough. Eesh. He's a... See? He's from the tat that uh, that league. <laughs> wow, those are brutal. God, can you imagine we're doing a hardcore and you run into that guy and you don't you're not ready for him? I mean I was kinda ready for him, I still got just splattered by him. Oh well. At least I'm not pushing oh, oh, oh Gotta stay behind him. Ooh, okay, what do we get here? Ten percent of it avoid being stunned. Don't care about this one. What about this one? Oh boy. Neither of those. Are there some more of these guys? Where are the I should have more oh here's another guy. He's another Karui guy, I think. Yeah, at least maybe not Karui, I don't know. He's mean though. Come on. Wanna stay a little bit away from him? Ah, come on. No, he wasn't Karui. I don't know what that was. He was just mean. And just general leveling. Pretty cool stuff. Only that, only that one uh, one set of tattoos from that, that guy is kind of lame. Should have got more of these. It should. The, the, the mod was any tattoo. I don't know. Um, I can pop that down just in case I die. I shouldn't. This is an easy fight. You just go like this. And I should be able to tank that hit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And anything else? Oh, a bunch of stuff on the ground. Let's see. Um, I want that. And this is what I do. I just grab a bunch of these, and once I've got... I'll take the axe, too. The, the stuff that's heavy and, you know, not easy to pick up. That, you know, takes up a lot of space. There we go. Got so many uh, portals, it doesn't even matter. Portal scrolls. And oh, we're actually. <laughs> I say we don't, it doesn't matter about space, and then sure enough, it matters. Um, there and there. Interesting. Wow. We'll just put it on there. And cool. All right. So I'm gonna keep doing this, and I'll be back later, in a second, basically. So for the uh, remainder of the episode, it looks like I'll just be running these things, knocking all these out. So that's one, two, three, four, eight more Atlas points that I'll get out of this. Um, and then in the next episode, I think I'll be going into, um, what do you call it? Uh, red maps. I think I'll, yeah, I think we'll do red maps. To, and I have to knock out this too. Um, it's the, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, I, can't, I can't think of the word the heist stuff. Yeah, it's a heist level 2 quest thing. I just have to knock that out as well. So with that, I think we're in good shape. I wanted to keep the episode a little shorter and we're having fun. This guy's uh, not facing any roadblocks. We got uh, Cyclone of the Tumult. That was a big uh, big gain. And what is going on here? It's not working there. There we go. That's awesome. And it couldn't get even bigger too. Get about to that size. It's amazing. Decent damage. We're going to get more damage. I still have to... Uh, I'm going to craft a weapon. We're in good shape. I'm looking forward to this. So uh, I'll see you in the next episode, and we'll be stronger then. Pretty cool.